Tiffany blue is the color to have on your dial right now. This all came from a record-breaking sale of Patek Philippe Nautilus 5711 that sold for a ridiculous price, which in turn drove prices of Rolex Oyster Perpetual with Tiffany blue dials out of the stratosphere and thus making everybody else jump on the bandwagon of this trend. And why not? If something is popular, give people what they want. So is there something special about this Tiffany blue color? Well, in front of us today, we have a watch that has a Tiffany blue color. This watch comes from a company called Undone Watches. I did several reviews of other Undone Watches in the past. Some I liked, some not so much. The name of this model is Stellar Speedster. And besides having a Tiffany blue dial, it also has a diameter of 42 millimeters, a lug to lug distance of 48 millimeters, a 22 millimeter lug opening, and it's 12.7 millimeters thick, including the domed sapphire crystal. The case is made out of stainless steel, although it is PVD coated. Crystal is sapphire, water resistance 100 meters. It's powered by the VK73 caliber movement, made by Seiko. It's a Mecca Quartz chronograph movement and the price of this watch is $500. As I mentioned, the case is all PVD coated, including the crown and the bezel. The crown and the pushers are screwed down. Pushers screw down in a similar fashion to a Seiko Flightmaster or even something like a Rolex Daytona, which helps with the overall water resistance of 100 meters. The design is heavily inspired by Omega Speedmaster with that tachymeter bezel with a white font. There's actually another watch that this watch reminds me of, and it's the Bulova Moon Watch. I forgot the exact name of it. I reviewed it in the past, and that model also comes in a DLC coated case. The case shape between the two watches is quite different. This one has this vintage inspired case shape with a hidden lug opening. But clearly the standout feature of this watch is the Tiffany blue dial. The stark contrast between matte black finish on the case makes this dial stand out even more. I wore this watch for a few days and I gotta tell you, it attracts a lot of attention. Some might say that's a positive, some might say that's a negative, depends on your preferences, but it does command uh, quite a bit of wrist presence. There are some drawbacks to that, like for instance, matching your outfit to this dial becomes a bit of a chore. You have to consciously think about what you're gonna wear so it doesn't look ridiculous with this uh, baby blue or Tiffany blue dial. Something that I don't usually think about when I wear other watches. I just simply put on a watch and wear whatever the hell I want. Here, you have to be a little bit more mindful of what you wear. Some other standout elements and features on the dial are the fact that all the indices are applied. They're also loomed. So is the set of hands. Here's a loom shot for you. Yeah, the loom is quite poor. I am disappointed. Undone is marketing this watch towards Middle Eastern markets. So they have this Kanjar Royal Crest in place of logo closer to the 12 o'clock position. The logo is actually moved all the way down at the bottom uh, by the six o'clock position. We also have three sub dials, the sub dial at the three o'clock position, that's your 24 hours indicator, the sub dial by the six o'clock position, that's the seconds indicator for the main watch keeping, and the sub dial by the nine o'clock position, that's a 60 minute counter for the chronograph. The chronograph action is pretty good. I've tested quite a few of these Mecca Quartz movements on the channel. They're nice and solid feeling, uh, nice firm click, satisfying to push and satisfying to reset. It's not exactly the same as a true mechanical chronograph, but it's close enough. The swatch comes on a canvas strap. The strap is all right. It's actually a combination of canvas and leather. You have a canvas finish on top of the strap and a leather finish on the underside. Quick release pins, which is nice to see. And the design of the stain buckle is really cool. However, I do have a problem with the stain buckle and it's the fact that it has these sharp edges. So when you actually wear the watch on your wrist, the way the stain buckle is positioned, at least on my wrist, makes the watch very uncomfortable to wear. It simply digs into your wrist and irritates it. If you have a similar wrist size to mine, about seven and a quarter inches, you might run into the same problem and have to replace this strap, which is a bit of a shame because the strap itself is all right. Other than the discomfort of the strap, watch looks pretty good on the wrist. It has that 
short 48 millimeter lock to lock distance, which should fit a variety of different wrist sizes. It's also not overly big at 42 millimeters, and it's not too thick, 12 and a half, 13 millimeters. So it's your classic watch dimensions. Partially why the watch is so thin is because of that caliber VK63 Mecha Quartz movement, which is a movement you would choose if you want to make a watch on a budget. However, the price of this watch is $500. So it's not exactly a budget watch, is it? It's not exactly cheap. And I think that's the biggest negative of this timepiece. Everything is executed pretty well. It's an all right package. It's just simply too expensive. $500? No way. I'd say this is maybe $275, $300 watch. Maybe add another $50 because it's a limited edition to 300 pieces only, but that's about it. $500 is a bit of a stretch. And for this Tiffany blue dial, I don't know. It's kind of cool, it stands out quite a bit, and that stark contrast between the black case and the baby blue dial looks awesome. This watch doesn't really take itself too seriously, and that's why I don't really get the whole fascination with other Tiffany blue dials. I get maybe spending a couple hundred bucks on a Tiffany blue dial as a novelty, as a fun to wear watch. I don't get spending tens of thousands or sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars on a watch with a Tiffany blue dial. But that's just my opinion. What do you guys think? Leave your comments in the comment section below. Let me know. What do you think about this watch? What do you think about Tiffany blue dials in general? We always enjoy reading your comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. We release new videos every week. And that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.